Good morning, it's Melody Brooke here. Today I want to talk about what happens when you're the one that's on the receiving end of a loss. Um, if someone close to you has passed, someone that you really have a lot of deep pain that they've decided to leave or that they have, um, for whatever reason, gone from this lifetime to the next. And what we're left with, of course, is a deep sense of longing and missing that person and, and perhaps grief for how they left and what they might have gone through. And for us, left with all those feelings, you know, what I often hear people saying is, what do I do with all those feelings? What, how do I deal with this? And sometimes it's, you know, it's sort of um, involuntary. We find ourselves crying. We find ourselves just sobbing and weeping, um, and we don't have much control over that. Other times we might find ourselves numb and have no sense of relief from that pain until sometime later. You know, shock sometimes can send us into that numbing state where we, where we just don't feel anything, and yet we know this person is a huge part of our life, and we know we have deep feelings about it, and then we get confused, and we think, oh, you're heartless. That's not what's happening. What's happening is that you have gone into shock, that you're so overwhelmed with the amount of pain that you have that you can't allow yourself to feel it at that moment. I went through that when I lost my son. Um, I had a son that died from sudden infant death, and it took me a while to, to, to allow the pain of that to to fill me, and when I did, of course, it was pretty overwhelming. And so what we have to do is we have to allow ourselves to, to, to process the pain the way that we process it and not compare ourselves to anyone else because how we grieve is going to be very personal to us and what we need in, in terms of support and what we need in terms of um, time to grieve. There, there are some losses, like this loss of my son, that you don't really ever get over it. You just, it's just sort of, gets a little better with time to where you're not so overwhelmed by it. So remind yourself that as horrible as it feels right now, this is temporary. It will eventually ease and not feel so overwhelming. And it doesn't mean that we still don't love them and miss them and, and want, wish with every waking breath that they were here with us, but it does mean that we're we're allowed to feel happy and that we're allowed to go on. And, and using our spirituality to help us through that really helps. But if you don't have spirituality, it's, it's okay to allow yourself just to have the grief and recognize that while they were here, they were such a gift to us. So give yourself time. Give yourself permission to grieve the way you grieve. And be patient with yourself because it's not always going to be according to your own time schedule. So give yourself time to grieve, but also make sure that you go out and enjoy being with friends and, and just accept that you know, you're not going to be the, the most wonderful company that you may tear up, you may need to leave early, whatever you need to do, take care of yourself. But, but also don't limit yourself to just staying at home. Allow yourself to stay home and grieve and then go out and do something fun to get away from it for a little while. That doesn't mean that you're not still grieving just because you laugh. So. That's my tip for today. My book is called Oh Wow, This Changes Everything, and you can find it on Amazon and Kindle. You can find out more about me at MelodyBurke.com. If you find this useful, please repost it, share it with your friends. Thank you.